You'll have to be quick if you want to be part of Queensland's biggest fun run. Thousands have already registered for the Bridge to Brisbane on August 27. But if you get in before July 1st, you'll save on your entry fee. As Bridge to Brisbane teams go, this one's unlikely to be first across the finish line. So on the day you're going to do the 10Ks, how long will it take you, do you think? Ooh, the goal is under 60 minutes. <laughs> We're doing under 60, right? Um, I've got really short legs. So... <laughs> Someone's got to be in the back. <laughs> uh, well, the first um, kilometre or so will be good, I think. Don't be conned by their self-deprecating humour, though. They are definitely winners. And you guys are the leading fundraisers, I understand, at the moment, about nearly yeah. 28,000 bucks. How does that feel? <laughs> um... Unbelievable, really. <laughs> they call themselves the Game of Crohn's team. Medical students raising funds to help fight Crohn's disease, which affects the digestive system. I think that uh, when you go into something like medicine, it's very important to consider people who are less fortunate than yourselves. You're spoiled for choice with the Bridge to Brisbane, while the 10K run starts over in the Roma Street Parklands. There's also a 5K event, and it starts right here, Captain Burke Park at Kangaroo Point. These crones, cronies, will have plenty of company on the day. Last year's Bridge to Brisbane was a sellout. Last year we had 32,000, we had to knock a few people back. To get in front of the race for entries, until July 1, there's an early bird deal. The 10K run costs $50, the 5K $40. After July 1, entries increase to $55 and $45. The run's increasing popularity put down to the change of route. Instead of starting on the gateway, the race now crosses the go-between bridge, Story Bridge and Victoria Bridge, ending at South Bank. Well, it's so scenic. Uh, it's a beautiful scenic route. It goes across three bridges. With the bridge to Brisbane, everyone's a winner, so far raising $8 million for charity. Phil Wilmington, Nine News. Five people, including three...